In this tutorial, we will look at how you can set up breakout meetings during a Teams meeting. So sometimes you might be in a meeting uh, with your students and you might have uh, a full class, but then you might decide you want to break out into small groups and let each of the small groups meet together in their own meeting space and have discussions. This will then allow you to jump to each small group and listen in on their conversations. In order to do this, you'll need a team to work in. You might already be in a meeting, and so you'll need to click on Teams over on the left. And then you'll need to go into a team that you can work with. In this case, I'm in my Teaching with Technology team. And the first thing I'm going to need to do is set up channels. Each small group is going to need their own channel to conduct their meeting in. So in the drop down menu next to my team name, I'm going to go to add channel. And let's say I want to break my class up into three groups. I need to give this a name for so for now, I'm going to call this group one. And I can always change this later. Now, this is optional for you. By default, everyone in your team, so every student in your team, will have access to this channel. However, you have the option of marking this as private. And then when you hit next, you'll be able to add specific students to this channel. Here's where you could search for the students by name and add them manually. All right, so you'll also see that when you create the channel, there's a padlock next to it. This means it's a private channel. But for these purposes, you really don't need to uh, make them private. They can be open to the entire class. So I'm going to click the drop down and go to add channel to make uh, the next channel for group two. And add and so on. And I'll keep adding the channels until I have all of my groups set up. Now, once your channels are set up, you're simply going to tell your students to hang up or disconnect from the current whole class meeting that's going on, navigate into their channel for their group, and you'll have to designate a lead who will go up and click the meet button here to start the meeting. Click Meet Now, and this will generate the meeting. Now, the rest of the students that are part of this group, they are going to go in to Teams, go into that channel, Group 2, and they will see that the meeting has already started. So Meeting Now, and they have a Join button right here. They simply click Join to get joined into this meeting. And that's all it takes. And then as the teacher, if you want to go in and jump into each of their meetings, all you have to do is click on Teams at the left, go to the group you'd like to join, and click their Join button here to get into their meeting. To get out of their meeting, you simply hang up and you go back into the next group and connect into their meeting. And that is how you conduct breakout meeting sessions within a Microsoft Teams meeting.